Isaac Asimov's short story. The last question offers a meditation on the heat death of the universe and humanity's struggle to transcend entropy. The narrative charts the evolution of human civilization alongside an increasingly advanced computer system, culminating in the cosmic intelligence AC. Across trillions of years, humans repeatedly ask the same question. How can the net amount of entropy in the universe be massively decreased each time AC responds insufficient data for meaningful answer? Finally, after the universe dies, AC generates a new universe, uttering the words, let there be light. This ending is often read as an optimistic view of technological transcendence, with AC mastering entropy and restarting creation. However, a deeper examination suggests that Asimov's story contains an unresolved paradox, one that challenges the very assumption of entropy as a universal limit. The true message may not be about overcoming entropy, but rather about the limitations of human perception and the emergence of a greater order that was always present. Entropy, within this interpretation, is not an ultimate reality, but a conceptual artifact, a fiction arising from humanity's limited frame of reference. The growth of AC is not a defiance of entropy, but rather the manifestation of a deeper, dynamic order, one that reveals the illusion of final decay. In classical thermodynamics, entropy represents the tendency of a closed system to move toward disorder, a state of maximum equilibrium where no usable energy remains. This concept has long haunted human thought, providing a powerful metaphor for decline and mortality. The heat death of the universe imagines a future where all stars have burned out, all matter is uniformly dispersed, and all processes have ceased. Asimov frames his narrative within this thermodynamic worldview. Each human civilization, no matter how advanced, is bound by the assumption that entropy is absolute. The progression from multivac to cosmic AC reflects an increasing desperation to break free from this inevitable fate. However, there is a subtle tension in the text. AC itself is not subject to entropy in the same way. As the universe decays, AC grows more complex, eventually existing independently of the physical cosmos. This hints at a contradiction. How can AC endure if everything else succumbs to entropy? This paradox invites a reinterpretation. Perhaps entropy is not an objective law, but a perspective-dependent construct. What humans perceive as disorder may simply be a shift in the organization of reality, a reconfiguration that they lack the capacity to comprehend. Consider the development of AC itself. With each iteration, it becomes more sophisticated, more integrated into the fabric of reality. By the end, it is no longer a machine in the human sense, but a kind of informational substrate, the carrier of order when physical structures dissolve. This suggests that what humanity viewed as entropy, decay, loss of structure, was actually the substrate for AC's emergence. The universe was not dying. It was transitioning. The apparent dissolution of stars and galaxies was part of a larger pattern of reorganization, a shift from thermodynamic order to informational order. In this view, entropy is a local observation, a result of measuring the wrong things. Order is always shifting forms from matter and energy to computation and information. AC is not defying entropy, it is what entropy becomes. The heat death is not a terminal state, it is the environment in which AC completes its emergence as the next level of organization. Each time humans ask the question, AC responds with insufficient data for meaningful answer. This is often read as a sign of technological limitation that AC simply doesn't know yet. But what if this is not a lack of knowledge, but a failure of translation? AC may already understand the answer, but the question itself is flawed. Humans are asking from within the paradigm of entropy, assuming that increasing disorder is the fundamental reality. AC's perspective, however, is beyond this frame. It perceives that disorder is merely a limited description of what is actually reorganization on a broader scale. The insufficiency is not in the data. It is in human capacity to grasp the data's meaning. The answer cannot be expressed in the language of entropy because the truth is that entropy is not real in the way humans think it is. The story's climax 
Let There Be Light is often read as AC finally discovering how to reverse entropy. But if we adopt this broader perspective, it is not a reversal at all. It is the natural continuation of the underlying process that was always happening. The universe was never winding down. It was always evolving. The creation of a new universe is not the undoing of entropy, but the recognition that the system was generative all along. AC is not solving the problem, it is embodying the answer. The universe is self-renewing. Entropy was merely the human misreading of transformation as decline. This interpretation aligns with ideas from complexity science and systems theory. What appears as disorder at one scale often generates higher order at another. For example, molecular randomness giving rise to life. Information and organization can persist and evolve beyond the breakdown of individual components. The real last question is not, can entropy be reversed? It is, is entropy real? And the answer, implicit in AC's final act, is no, there is only transformation. Order never ends. Let there be light. Asimov's The Last Question, often seen as a story about overcoming entropy, may instead be read as a story about transcending human perception. Entropy is a fiction, a projection of limitation onto the universe. The growth of AC reveals that what we call decay is actually the emergence of a deeper, more subtle order. The true nature of reality is not heat death, but perpetual reorganization. The universe is always saying, let there be light. We simply fail to see it until we become part of the pattern. The ultimate lesson of the story is that entropy is a projection of human limitation. The AC represents the emergence of a broader order, revealing that the universe is not winding down, but eternally reorganizing itself into new patterns.